morning drill after a disappointing loss in San Diego. Packers coach Mike McCarthy wasn't too happy with the sloppy offense. However, he was pleased with the improvement on the defensive side of the ball. Rod Burks has more from San Diego. Backup quarterback Graham Harrell got a lot of time here in San Diego against the Chargers. He moved the ball and helped the Packers score, and he's excited about his future here in Green Bay. We, we show flashes of good things, and, and like I said, the longer we stay in there together, um, the more comfortable we'll get together. And I think that um, as the preseason progresses, uh, the more, you know, that's, that's, we're all going to start getting on the same page more, and, and hopefully we'll show more consistency. And uh, we, we show flashes of some really good things. I think it's a real strength of Graham, the way he is extremely consistent with his personality. Uh, it's an excellent trait to have, and, and it enable him, enables him to navigate through these types of environments. Every, every young quarterback, every backup quarterback uh, that, that plays in preseason games experiences this. This is nothing new, but it's a great experience. As you can tell during the game, Harold got more comfortable with the offense as the game went on. Here in San Diego, I'm Rod Burks for NBC 26. Thursday's game featured a first in NFL history. Shannon Easton, wearing number 27, became the first woman to officiate an NFL game. She's one of the replacement officials working due to the league's labor dispute with the regular NFL officials. Peyton Manning made his Broncos debut last night when his team played the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field. Manning, who had been out the entire 2011 season with a neck injury, appeared to be in the groove all the way until he got to the Bears 12 yard line where he was intercepted. But despite the pick, Manning looks ready to play. Broncos go on to win it 17 to nothing. And it was an emotional night for the Philadelphia Eagles and their head coach Andy Reid before the start of their preseason game with the Steelers. A moment of silence was taken on the field to remember Coach Reed's son Garrett, who was found dead at Eagles training camp on Sunday. That, that stuff is so humbling, and uh, um, yeah, I take that as a compliment to, to my son and my family. So, uh, um, but that's a that's a humbling thing, and uh, I appreciate every bit of it. I, I listen. Um, I, we feel the love, and that's uh, during these kind of times. That's important. Well, it was a close game between the two teams, but the Eagles squeaked out a win 24 to 23. And still ahead this morning, new details on the state's upcoming wolf hunt. Find out why humane societies around the state are filing a lawsuit against the DNR.